Okay, let's get right into it. We need to talk about a story that is quietly unfolding, one that could literally change everything we thought we knew about the future of AI. The big, crazy claim that true artificial general intelligence, AGI, might already be here. And get this, the real bombshell isn't just that it might have happened, but where? This isn't coming out of Silicon Valley. Nope. Well, we were all busy watching the giants like OpenAI and Google. A company in Tokyo just made an announcement that could catapult us years into the future. Let's break this down. So the company is called Integral AI. It was founded by Jad Tarifi, who's a veteran from Google. Now, they've been operating way under the radar, you know, far away from the whole chatbot hype train. And it seems they've come out of stealth mode with something that could completely rewrite the rules. And their claim is, well, it's about as bold as it gets. They are saying point blank that they have built the world's first true AGI. If they are right, that puts us a full 18 months ahead of schedule. We're not talking about just another update here. This is a whole new ballgame. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. AGI, again? We hear these world-first claims all the time. And you know what? You're right to be skeptical. But this one, this one feels different. Integral AI didn't just shout from the rooftops. They actually laid out a clear new standard for what AGI even means. The core idea here, the absolute game changer, is something called autonomous learning. Think about it. We're talking about a system that can learn completely new skills without being spoon-fed massive data sets or needing a human to guide it. It's designed to work like our brains do, not just spitting out answers, but actually understanding and mastering new things all on its own. And to prove this wasn't just talk, they set up three incredibly specific, measurable goals for their AGI. Number one, can it learn skills autonomously? Check. Number two, can it master them safely and reliably without, you know, catastrophic failures? Check. And number three, can it do all this using about the same amount of energy as a human brain? This isn't some vague promise. These are hard, testable benchmarks. And here's the kicker. This is the part that so many people are missing. This isn't just happening in the cloud or on a server farm. They've been testing this with actual, physical robots. This is embodied AI. It's intelligence that isn't just crunching text. It's learning to see, move, and interact with the real world. The robot revolution we thought was coming in 2026? It might be happening right now. So let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture here. Because if this claim is for real, it doesn't just move the goalpost, it completely redraws the entire playing field. The timeline for AI is accelerating so fast it's almost hard to wrap your head around. Which brings up a really interesting question. Why Japan? How did they pull this off? Well, while Silicon Valley was kind of locked in this arms race to build a better chatbot, focusing on language and digital prompts, Japan was playing a different game. With their deep history in robotics, they were focused on a harder problem, giving AI a body and teaching it to learn on its own in the physical world. And just look at what this does to all the predictions. The old timeline was 2025, we get autonomous agents. 2026, the year of the robot. And then maybe, just maybe, we'd see artificial super intelligence or ASI by 2027. But if embodied AGI is here now, at the end of 2024, that shatters everything. That could mean we hit ASI as early as 2026. We are so far ahead of schedule, it's not even fun. And you know, this isn't happening in a vacuum. We're seeing signs of this acceleration everywhere. I mean, think about it. When OpenAI's co-founder and chief scientist, Ilya Sutskever, suddenly leaves to start his own company that is focused only on building safe superintelligence, that's a massive signal. Someone at that level with that kind of insight doesn't just make a move like that unless they've seen something that fundamentally changes the game. So when the CEO of Integral AI says this, you have to take it seriously. It sounds like hyperbole, I know, but if they're right, this really is one of the biggest moments in human history. And it's happening in months, not decades. Okay, so what does all this high-level, world-changing stuff actually mean for you, for your job, your career, your future? Because this isn't some abstract sci-fi concept anymore. This acceleration is forcing a choice upon all of us, and really, there are three paths emerging. First things first, you have to burn this one fact into your brain. The AI you're using right now, today, is the absolute worst, the slowest, and the dumbest it is ever going to be. From this moment on, the pace of improvement is just going to be relentless. And here is the brutal reality of that acceleration. By the end of next year, just 12 months from now, pretty much any task you do on a computer can and will be automated. 
The only question is, are you going to be the person doing the automating or the person being automated? This really boils down to three possible roles for you in this new world. You can be a builder, the one who actually creates and implements these AI systems and gets massive, unbelievable leverage from them. You can be a manager, overseeing these systems to stay competitive, or you can be a competitor, trying to do the same work an AI can do, and frankly, losing a little more ground every single day. The most important thing here, the real secret, is a mindset shift. The people who are going to win are the ones who stop thinking of AI as just another tool, like a calculator or a spreadsheet that needs constant supervision. The winners will start treating AI like an autonomous team member, like a new hire that can think and work on its own. Which brings us right back to the final unavoidable question. The debate is pretty much over on whether AGI is coming. The real conversation now is that it might already be here. So the only question that matters is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to be a first mover or are you going to wait and risk being left behind?